let us discuss this example so in this example they have given a function g of x which is defined with the help of integration and we have to find its derivative so we are going to use first fundamental theorem of calculus which we have already studied in our previous video to solve this problem okay so we'll start with a given function so let us write what we have we have g of x okay let me write the function here g of x integration 3 to x t raised to 4 dt so here we are taking a integration of t raised to 4 so this is our f of t here f of t is t raised to 4 so the first fundamental theorem uh, fund fundamental theorem of calculus says this function should be continuous function then only that theorem is applicable so t raised to 4 is a polynomial function so that's why obviously it is continuous on the given domain so clearly f is continuous function okay so therefore we can apply first fundamental theorem of calculus by first fundamental theorem of calculus calculus you remember first fundamental theorem of calculus see what we have g so g dash of x its derivative the technique of finding its derivative is very simple what we do we take a derivative of this integral with respect to x integration 3 to x t raised to 4 dt so normally what happens that integration derivative will get cancelled to each other getting and we have t raised to 4 so we ignore the lower limit which is a constant simply we put upper limit and we have the answer x raised to 4 i hope all of you understood what you have done we we can do that thing just because of first fundamental theorem of calculus what we are doing here integration derivative will get cancelled and simply we are putting t is equal to upper limit x okay inside that function so the value of uh, g dash of x is x raised to 4 okay make a screenshot of it then we'll discuss one more example let us discuss this second example okay so let us write the given function first we have what we have let me write g of x is equal to integration minus 1 to x e raised to t square dt okay we supposed to write dt here hmm. See, we have to find its derivative again, right? So, what is the function we have? e raised to t square inside the integration. So, that is our f of t. Here, f of t is e raised to t square. So, the basic condition of first fundamental theorem of calculus is that function should be continuous. So, you know that exponential function is always continuous. So, that's why we can write, yes, it is continuous function. So, clearly, f is continuous function so that's why first fundamental theorem of calculus is applicable here so let us use so by first fundamental theorem of calculus by first fundamental theorem of calculus what can we write first fundamental theorem of calculus says g dash of x is equal to simply we can take derivative of this term so this is derivative of integration minus 1 to x e raised to t square dt so what will happen that integration derivative will get cancelled to each other right and we can replace this function we can replace this t by x only so what will be our answer e raised to x square and we get a final answer it is possible just because of this first fundamental theorem of calculus it says if the function is continuous whatever the inside the integration the derivative and integration will get cancelled to each other and we will have the direct answer okay so make a screenshot of it and one more example we will discuss please let us discuss this third example so maybe you will think what is the difference between second and third example it is looking same but actually there is a huge difference between this example and a previous one so in previous example we had x only upper limit was x but here we have a x square so because of that square the total technique is different to solve this problem okay let us write start with a given function so let me write we have what is the function we have g of x 
is equal to integration minus 1 to x square e raised to t square dt. Let us focus on the function which we have inside the integration. We have e raised to t square that is our f of t. Here f of t is e raised to t square. So as I told you earlier, so this is exponential function that is why it is continuous. Clearly f is continuous function ok. So that is why first fundamental theorem of calculus is applicable here. So let us apply it by first fundamental theorem of calculus fundamental theorem of calculus what can we write by first fundamental theorem of calculus. So this theorem says directly we can take derivative. So therefore g dash of x is equal to derivative of integration minus 1 to x square e raised to t square dt. Okay. So the problem is that in this example upper in, uh, limit of the integral is x square. If we have simply x we can directly use the first fundamental theorem. But see here we have a x square. So we, we want simply single variable. So for that I am putting x square is equal to u here. So what will happen? Derivative of integration minus 1 to u e raised to t square dt. I, I will mention here putting, putting x square is equal to u. So now the first fundamental theorem of calculus we cannot apply directly since we have u here and we have variable x. So I am going to use chain rule. So by chain rule we can write derivative with respect to u integration minus 1 to u e raised to t square dt into du by dx. So we call it as a chain rule getting. So see du du will get cancelled and we will have d by dx again getting. So this is a chain rule. So now first fundamental theorem of calculus is applicable here since upper limit okay of integral is u and the variable is u also. So by first fundamental theorem of calculus if you apply to this bracket we will have e raised to u square only right into du by dx. So this is equal to e raised to u square but what is our u? What is our u? u is x square so you will have x square square that means you will have x raised to 4 right into derivative of what is my u it is x square what is the derivative of x square it is 2x so the final answer will be 2x e raised to x raised to 4 okay so i hope all of you understood so that's why because of this x square we use chain rule here okay answer is we have now so you can make a screenshot of it then we'll stop thank you bye bye